Now, 27 storm trap weather with meteorologist Max Zaparis. Certainly having a wintry feel to the forecast next couple of days, but don't worry, there is an end in sight. We are going to track a warm up just in time for the weekend. Here's a look at clouds and radar showing overcast skies for the most part. Those clouds that we had this morning are thinning, but we're getting another batch of clouds moving in from the northwest. And on clouds and radar, it does look like a lot of sprinkles and flurries are being detected. A lot of that activity not reaching the ground because of how dry we are, but that will likely change later in the afternoon or evening. So a stray sprinkle or flurry not out of the question today, but you know, could be worse, right? There's steady snow falling right now just across the border into the Chicagoland area back towards Indiana, Michigan, extending into Iowa, Missouri and Kansas. That's where they could get a couple inches of snow that'll have force them to plow. It'll be slushy. Of course, locally we're getting impacted by the system just with some passing clouds overhead, a cool feel and maybe that passing flurry or sprinkle possibility. So there goes the cold front number one, keeping most of the steady precipitation south of the border. Another cold front though races in tomorrow that could trigger a few more spotty light mixed showers, and that could lead to a quick dusting for localized areas. Not a widespread issue, but still again winter sticking around for your midweek. That front passes by high pressure builds in from the west on Thursday. That'll do a couple of things. Clear our clouds causing uh, uh, giving us a lot of sunshine, right? Also causing our temps to rise as we have this flow around the high that'll come out of the west and southwest, a warmer wind direction, getting us back to around seasonal norms. Future track snowfall showing that the majority of the snow that will accumulate will be south of the state line. Could be a couple inches through central Missouri, extending through the heartland of Indiana or Indiana and parts of Illinois and also into the eastern Great Lakes where they could get several inches of snow because of the lake effect snow machine. Locally, not much, but I'll show you what happens here over the next 30 36 hours or so. You can see temps are cool, upper 30s, low 40s, light winds at least compared to yesterday. Mid 40s, all I have for highs this afternoon. A couple breaks in the clouds are possible, but also tracking a few sprinkles by the evening commute or maybe even a few flurries. Similar trend tonight. Temps back to the, where they were this morning, upper 20s, low 30s. So another night to think about those plants. And then a couple more spotty light mixed showers, not out of the question tomorrow through early afternoon with temps similar by later in the afternoon hours to today, low mid 40s. Okay, so who has the possibility of seeing a quick dusting? Well, here's future track snow zoomed in and you can see areas along and east of I-3990 have the highest chance for a quick dusting and that highest chance will be tomorrow morning through midday. It won't be a big deal even if this pans out. Grassy and elevated surfaces might get a coating, but the pavement will still be too warm for that to happen. However, overnight lows will be sub freezing, so we want to keep that in mind. Temps in the mid 20s to low 30s next two nights. So you want to cover up any sensitive vegetation or bring it inside. I saw my neighbors, they were planting some vegetables, made sure they know that they'll have to cover those up here, not just tonight, but tomorrow night too. 43 degrees today, a flurry or sprinkle possibility late day. 27 tonight, maybe a couple more little sprinkles or flurries, maybe a little patchy frost late as we're well below freezing. Back to 43 tomorrow, partly sunny skies with some spotty light mixed showers. Highest chance for a coating will be in the morning hours, but that again is just for localized hot spots, not a widespread issue. Back to 27 Wednesday night, up to 55, lots of sunshine Thursday. 50s continue into the weekend, maybe a few spotty showers Saturday as well. Uh, that's your seven day. I just wanted to also point out that we do have a storm spotter class from the National Weather Service. Another one going on tonight from seven to nine. You have to register beforehand. You can find the link to that WKOW.com. Caroline, this is a super handy class. If you want to learn, oh, is that a funnel in the distance yeah. or is that just a scary looking cloud? Mm -hmm. You'll learn all of that. You'll be able to learn how to pass along that information when severe weather is threatening. Uh, again, two hours, you won't regret it. And of course, best, it's free. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, especially as we're going into severe weather season with right. you know tornadoes coming up, it's a good tool to have in your tool belt. Totally. And again, even though it feels wintry, we do have some spring weather in the forecast. And I think just beyond the seven day, before the month is over, maybe some 60s and 70s mm -hmm. back in the region. So we're okay. taking an upswing, but it's going to take a few more days. Sounds good, Max. Thank mm -hmm. you.